Christmas puzzle starts soon and I'm excited. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking holiday puzzles. I'm gonna show you all of the holiday puzzles that I have for 2020 and yeah. If you wanted to see my collection of the holiday puzzles from last year, because they are different than this year for the most part, um, then feel free to check that out. I'll link that video up in the cards, I guess. This is an FX Schmidt puzzles of a whole bunch of dogs and it's called Santa Paws, which is adorable. This is actually the first FX Schmidt puzzle I will have ever done. That's not a shape. All right, then I have a Euro graphics puzzle and this one is called Snowy Day. The good thing about this one is that it is a standard cut. It's not like they're weird shaped cut. Um, so these pieces are all like the H pieces. You know these kind, they're like... Throwing it away apparently. Um, where it just like alternates back and forth between this one shape. That's what this puzzle is, and I do prefer that a whole lot more because I'm not a fan, typically, of the Eurographics cut. The next holiday puzzle that I have is a, oh, I never told you, did I tell you what it was called? This one called Snowy Day. Did I say that? So this one is a Santa's Christmas Supper puzzle, and it is, uh, what's the name of it? Is that the name of it, Santa's Christmas Supper? I think it is. There you go. So that's what this looks like. I really enjoy this one, uh, the image on it. So I'm excited to do it this holiday season. So this one I had last year, but I never put together because I had two from the same brand and the other one was so overwhelming. Um, so I never assembled this one. So I'm adding it to my stack for this year. Hopefully I can get it done and trade it away because I am just not into this style. But this is the Falcon 1000 piece. 12 days of Christmas. It's um, cartoony. I guess it's kind of like those jumbo puzzles by Van Harsh. Blah, 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 blah. This is the same sort of style where it's like really comic and I honestly am just not a huge fan of it. It's almost too busy for me. Um, yeah, so I'll get this one done, but it's not my favorite. All right, this one I absolutely love. I got this one in the spring and I'm so excited it's finally the holiday season and I can assemble it. This is a Disney Ravensburger puzzle and, um, oh, it's just called Disney Pixar Christmas. Um, yeah, so they're like Christmas ornaments with different movies and I love this and this is going to be so much fun. My daughter is going to love helping me put these together because these are like so specific. It's kind of like six mini puzzles and then just background. So she'll definitely be with me helping me assemble this one. All right, then I have one shaped holiday puzzle and this is called, hold on. It's definitely not just called an ornament shaped puzzle, please. Please, please. Oh my goodness, it's called an ornament shaped puzzle. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a Springbok puzzle from their Outlines collection, which I believe are all the shaped puzzles that they make. Um, yeah, so what a boring name. Although it has a, a poem on the back, should I read it to you? Sleigh Ride. Whenever I think of long ago, of Christmas trees and candle glow, I think back on our horse-drawn sleigh that carry us through fields of snow. We'd count the hours till Christmas Day, when Pa would hitch up our old bay. For nothing was a nicer treat than riding into town that way. Along the way we'd stop and greet the friends and neighbors we would meet. Their smiles so full of warmth and cheer helped make our Christmas Day complete. Even now, I still can hear the sleigh bells ringing sweet and clear. These memories that hold us dear, Still warm my heart year after year. So there you go. A little Christmas poem to go with our Christmas puzzle. Have I been telling you pea sizes? I don't think I have. Does this even say? So this is a 500 piece puzzle. Everything else has been a thousand except for the FX Schmidt. Okay, so now that we've caught up on the pea sizes, because Sorry guys. Um, I have this one here which doesn't have a name. If you remember, I had a birthday puzzle in the same sort of box. Could not figure out who made it. I have now figured it out. It is the Brian Keepsakes. This is also clearly one of their puzzles. The box is the exact same. All The only identifier on it is that weird number on the back. Um, this, however, I believe to be a 500 piece puzzle because it is 
half the amount of pieces as the other one I did, which was a thousand pieces. So um, this is what this one looks like. This is the full image here. Um, yeah, excited about that one. All right, then I have a Michael Storings um, New York City Subway 500 piece puzzle. This is by Gallison. This one's really cute. I'm excited for it. All right, this puzzle has been sitting on my shelf for so long. And I don't know why I've never done it before. Um, actually, I think I do. I did two other puzzles um, by uh, Dowdville Folk Art. And honestly, it's not that they weren't my favorite. They just weren't my favorite. <laughs> it's a weird cut again. So I think I think that I really have just decided that I really like a standard cut puzzle so much better than like the weird shapes. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, so here's a sleeve for this. This one's called Ottawa. It's just Ottawa Christmas time or in the holiday season. Uh, winter, winter time. Um, yeah, it's a thousand pieces. This one I got from at the thrift store and it is still sealed which is a jolly old time also really impressed with the fact that it came with the poster and a ziploc bag to keep the pieces in um yeah so there you go all right so we're getting down to the bottom of my holiday stack this next one is a springbok puzzle and it's a thousand pieces it's called la siesta du père noel wait that's just the french side it's called Santa's Catnap. <laughs> so there you go. Um, I'm excited about this one. I think it'll be interesting. I really enjoy Springbok quality. So even though it's not like my favorite image, I definitely will have fun doing it. I'm excited to work on things like the Christmas tree. This is not the Christmas tree. This is. I'm excited to work on things like the Christmas tree and the fireplace. Um, the textures just look really cool. Honestly, Santa's kind of boring. He's asleep, but Whatever. This one was in my collection last year and I didn't have time to assemble it and before the holidays and I really like doing things seasonally so you know I mean good for you if you want to assemble Santa Claus in the middle of July but I'm just not for that if you know what I mean. Um, also I have too many other puzzles to not just focus on holiday ones during the holidays. <laughs> okay so this one is a spring box from the Hallmark um, keepsake collection and apparently it's the seventh one in the series um, and it's beautiful this one is called the ornamental wonderland it's from 2014 so you probably can't find it anymore but it's beautiful I love it again spring box I'm excited about the brand and just stab myself in the face with it nope. so the next one that I have is a 1000 piece puzzle and this one is called the nutcracker suite it is just a Whole bunch of nutcrackers definitely going to be a challenge although i'm very excited to assemble that one for whatever reason this amount of busy doesn't seem as crazy as the busy from the animated caricature one but i mean it's clearly just as busy but i i don't know the colors maybe are different or just the style i don't like in the other one i don't know okay and then finally i know you guys were waiting last year for this one and i never got around to it but i'm putting it at the top of my list this year and that is this Wendy the pooh puzzle it's still in its shrink wrap um it's called merry christmas merry like you're gonna put a ring on it not merry like merry christmas you know so that's interesting um but it's Wendy the pooh and i have no idea what the quality is gonna be like i i got it in a trade but it's um clearly in some sort of other language that I can't read so we'll see it doesn't have a brand or anything on it should I open it now should I do that okay let's do that okay you convinced me oh it came with this weird piece of paper oh so based on this little tiny thing, I'm assuming it's one of those puzzles that's really low quality that has letters all over the back and this kind of tells you which chunk of letters go where. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, I'm right. 
interesting. Remember how it was sealed and closed? The bag's open. So that's a bonus and there's pieces all in the bottom. So hopefully they're actually all here. It does have the writing on the back. Oh, you know what? The pieces are pretty sturdy. They're not like bending or anything. Hmm. We'll have to see what the fit is like. Clearly none of these are, oh no, there's two E sections. I don't know. We'll have to see when I assemble it, but I mean, you'll know. You'll know. I'll tell you. So those are all of my holiday puzzles for 2020. If you have any holiday puzzles or a holiday puzzle collection, feel free to let me know what your favorite one is or what are all the ones that you have. Feel free to tag me in a video or an Instagram post or whatever else you want to tag me in. I'll come check it out and stay tuned to see me assembling all of these wonderful Christmas puzzles. All right. Bye guys.